Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick video. All right, y'all, back with this quick fight news announcement here. I know everybody already knew about it. You know, I talked about it already on a live stream last night. But just in case y'all didn't know, yeah, man, um, we're having one fighter. Sadly, one fighter's transitioning out. And we have one fighter coming back after a long layoff. First off, I saw this on IG, you know, a couple of days ago. Mar Mari Renault had posted up, that, you know, she was going to be uh, fighting her last fight this year. Uh, July 17th and making a return is the former Bantamweight champion Misha Tate she's coming back to the octagon after what five years her last fight was 2016 yeah yeah she's coming back after five years y'all you know she's uh ready to make that return she says she wants to try and you know accomplish some new goals and try to get that Bantamweight title once again so uh my thoughts on this whole situation I'm like I talked about it on the live stream last night like I said uh I'm not like really, really hyped, hyped about it. I'm kind of um, curious. I'm a little curious, excited to see what she can do, if she can shake up this division. But the, the one thing I'm really curious about, has Misha Tate been training enough? Has she been like picking up different things along the way during this long layoff as far as just like uh, adding new, new tools to her arsenal? Because you know, the days whenever she started fighting up to the days whenever she retired, you know, the game's been evolving. You know, WMMA has been evolving. I mean, fighters are, you know, getting better and better. You know, fighters are adding new tools to their arsenal. You know, it's not just a, you can't, you just can't go in as a one dimensional grappler. You just can't go in as, as a slugger. You got to be able to mix it up in there. So that's the one thing I'm really curious about as far as her return. Now, is it a good idea? I mean, yeah, for her it is. I mean, she did take a nice long recovery away, you know, five years. Um, you know, she had a family. She had time to kind of reinvent her maybe reignite the flame and you know ask herself why she really wants to fight you know so i think that's all right you know if she wants to come back you know she's still going to be what early 30s so if she can come back with a fresh mind you know a fresh body you know that's all right you know um and another thing i think this is the time to do it i mean it's not like the the 135 pound division is really like this deadly thriving division right now where uh you know i, I would really kind of fear for her coming back you know right now psh, this division could use her, <laughs> you know, let's be honest, it could use her. I, I think it needs somebody with her star power and the look she used to bring to the table. You know, um, I think that's what the Bantamweight division needs right now. It needs somebody who brought some life to it besides Holly Holm, you know. Um, so if she comes back, that's cool. You know, it's definitely cool to see what she can do, you know, matching her up with some of these, uh, uh, some of the young blood. Uh, as for Mari Renault, I don't want to make this all about Misha Tate. Shout out to Mari Renault. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad that you know she's making her exit. This is her final fight. Like I said, she posted this on her IG. Um, it's going to be her last fight. But in a way, you know, it's kind of um, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, she's 43 years of age now, and you know, I think she's did it. She's done everything she's could. You know, everything she could in the game. You know, she's fought everybody they put in front of her. You know, won some, lost some. Uh, gained a lot of fans, gained a lot of respect, you know, from around the world and, and from me, like I said. So uh, I'd like to see her close out with a good, you know, farewell fight. But who knows, like, matching these two up, if we talk about the matchup real quick, I'm not going to, you know, really break it down right now, but I'm kind of I'm kind of favoring Mari Renault in this fight. Well, I'm not saying, well, no, I won't even say kind of. I am favoring Mari Renault in this fight. I'm not just, I'm not being biased, but I'm, I'm favoring Mari Renault just because I feel like just because she's 43, that's not why she's retiring. She's just retiring because her contract is done. But I feel like she still has enough, you know, to go in there and give Misha Tate a tough fight and beat her. You know, I think she has the skill set to beat her. You know, I think she has some solid striking. She's a very solid grappler. I think she can match Misha, Misha Tate on the ground. I think her ground and pound can be nullified by Mari Renault. I think Mari Renault uh, has enough tools to beat somebody like Misha Tate because she stayed along in the game as it evolved, whereas Misha Tate's made an exit and been gone for five years so i think activity is going to be a factor for uh, mari Reno to pull off a win so hopefully she can and maybe that would just be a nice little farewell fight for her i don't know if they would extend the contract if she won the fight but if she wants to cap it off nicely you know go in there and you know go all out because you're not going to win it on the judges cards you know let's be real you're not going to win it on the judges cards. so you know go in there and look for the finish because you know i think mari Reno can uh pull off this uh pull off this win you know so yeah man um yeah, again shout out to mari renault uh you know hate to see her go but yeah you know she's been in the game for a while uh misha tate let me know in the comment section what y'all think about her coming back like i said it, it's uh 
it's okay because like, like I said, this division can use her right now. Um, the division is not really, it's not really popping right now. So she can come back and add some life to it maybe. And we'll see how much she's evolved since talking about coming back, you know, while, you know, like a few, a few months back when I did a video, we'll see how far she's come along. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all think of this fight. You know, I'll talk some more about Misha Tate as far as just like matching her up against some of the young blood. And, you know, yeah, because uh, there's some other other comments she made in the news, too. You know, talking about Amanda Nunes, how she has the style to beat her. I mean, what do y'all think about that? I might talk about that in a separate video. But, yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comment section. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.